Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your Little Women Atlanta, Season 4, Episode 10. Let's jump on into it, shall we? Many in her health. So now she walk around with an oxygen tank, poor thing. She got to make sure, though, when she walk, and she got to walk with an oxygen, uh, oxygen tank for she won't, in case she happen to lose her breath and whatnot. So, Minnie, honey, you going downhill, and you 34, and I'm 32, and honey, I feel bad for you. Like, I'm on your side for the night. I'm glad you didn't engage with um Andrea with this whole engagement thing, and now she airing out what kind of godmother you is. Like, you don't never be there for her, baby. She made you godmother. Just a whole bunch of who shot fucking John. I mean, Andrea... You fake as fuck, too, and you got a mouth on you to be the pregnant. Mm -hmm. We going to say that for later on, though. I, I can't believe you did her like that, Andrea. Really? Really? I think you're really mad about the engagement thing, but you've been had this pin up frustration for many, but you would never say it out loud until you got mad about a fucking ring. Really? Okay, we'll get to you. We gonna get to your ass at the end. And why you so bitter and so mad when well, you should be happy for your sister? It was an engagement. It was a fucking rain. Get over it, girl. But we gonna get to you in a minute, though. But back in a minute, though, she took um money to the radio show with her. She did it. They talked about her relationship, her life, her when the last time she had sex. She told him that she got congestive heart failure. They um, told her that they was there for her, anything she needed. She got a big heart. They like her there. They love her there. They want her to stay around, stay around for a long time. That was nice and all that. And I'm, get, I'm glad you didn't engage with, um, well, yeah, engage with um, Andrea while she trying to air out your dirty ass laundry about what kind of godmother you are. I'm glad. This was the first time in a long time since watching this show. I'm glad for once in your life, Minnie, you did not engage her. Cause she coming from a place of hurt. Her ass to get off because she just as fake as Tanya, Sam, and, and, and all the other ones on that show. So she'll get over this hurt. Just give her an episode or two. She'll get over it eventually. I don't know why she's so pressed over a damn engagement. Nah, but when and maybe I see get this big man. But you big mad over a goddamn engagement. So why do I keep on talking about this? And I ain't even much there yet. Like. Manny, you don't need to be arguing with these girls. If you're going to stay on this show, Manny, don't engage with these girls. Don't entertain them. They come for you. Let them come for you. You just sit back and ignore them. Shoot a bird at them or something. Because, God forbid, one day you arguing with one of these girls like Juicy and or um, Juicy, Money, Andrea, Amanda, Bira, any of them, Sam. Don't argue with them and don't engage them if you plan on sitting on this show, man, because it's not good for you and it's not good for your heart, because I hate to see you in the heat of a heart argument, getting heated, yelling at the top of your damn lungs, you hauling your chest and hitting the ground. That would not be cute at all. It would be nice for the show to get on right and to see your ass pass out, but don't give a lot of time to satisfaction over your health. By engaging in argument with these girls like that, man. And I'm glad you found yourself control this episode. So, um, did I talk about Sam? No. Tanya. Did I talk about Tanya and her engagement? I don't think I have yet. But if I have, forgive me if it's in there twice, though. Tanya. Now, you're not very fun of Miss Juicy Correct. You told you told her she got a big mouth and she loved to stir up drum and start the shit, but yet you talking to her about marital marital advice and you want her input on marital advice cause I'm guessing you ready for Vaughn to marry you and you want him to marry you and you said this about Juicy, but yet you want to take advice from her. 
Now, that is some fake-ass shit, and I'm surprised that you actually did that. Now, I don't know what you was going for. I guess you said, hell, since um, Juicy got experience and she was married for a long time, I said, I guess you said, oh, hell, you might as well go ahead and do it. I just don't want you to break that boy hard. When it comes to Vaughn, don't break that boy hard. Please don't. Because that will be very shitty for you to break that boy hard. And it'll be it'll be you, not the boys. And Nico is the kind of nutty and kind of crazy. So I can understand why you didn't get much out of Nico. But Vaughn, don't break that boy hard. And if he do propose to you, congratulations, I guess. Don't like you, but congratulations. I will give you that much. And... I don't think I talked about her yet, but did I? And, um, her and that spa thing, was it me or what? what Miss Witch, when did you start going to spas and all this, getting your, um, getting your thing down there, um, tight and then ready to play with for your marriage and whatever. I thought you brewed your own shit in your kitchen. When the hell you started going to spas, letting them put chemicals in your body? I thought you was against the chemical thing. Hell, you went and fished because you said that was inhumane in your book and you didn't want to fish when they was going fly fishing. You don't say that you don't mess with too many chemicals. We didn't heard you say this, but yet you was down with it with this spawn and all that. So you did that. You sitting on the park getting your thing tight. And so you all down for all that, huh, miss? Okay, Tonya, I'm done with you. I, I'm so done. But if he do propose, Tonya, you better not bet that you better not bet that man regret repos, proposing to your ass, cause that'll be fucked up if you do. Cause that man look like he a good man and he don't need that type of drama in his life. Better enough he got to deal with Nico. Don't let that man deal with any more of your craziness. So if he do it propose to you, Accept that. Make that man happy. Don't make that man regret. Don't make, don't make that man regret marrying you. That's all I ask, Tanya. Um. So, the elephant in the room. I think that's what we get. The elephant in the room. So apparently, Andrea got two problems with Minnie. One being she's not a great godmother. And two, well, she's not a great godmother. And yes, yeah, she buy um Aubrey Cl Aubrey clothes. Yes, yeah, she um buy her clothes, but she don't spend time with Aubrey. Aubrey don't like to go to um Minnie. She cry every time Minnie go to grab her and all that. So and plus disengagement, that's another problem you got with Minnie. Why can't you handle this off the show? Why did you have to blast me like this on the show? Like, I understand you mad, you feel some type of way. I'm guessing you pregnant and want to fight somebody. You couldn't fight a bear or so, and I guess now many is your best option. And to top it off, you mad about this whole godmother thing. Not only that, you sprayed goddamn many. Like, even if she is a horrible godmother, you can admit it. Everybody else can contest to that. Many are basically your best damn friend. Who else will get their face punched on a reunion and get embarrassed in front of how many people watch this TV show? So I don't understand why you spraying Minnie like this over no damn engagement. Now, if she got married and didn't tell your ass that Minnie went off with um, Amanda and went and got married in. In Las Vegas, they didn't tell your ass about it. Okay, fine. Go at it. Claw face off. Be the ass. Whatever. Pregnant and all. But really over an engagement, girl, don't let me get on your ass, I mean, Andrea, because that was kind of fucked up how you sprayed her like that in front of everybody like that. Not only did you embarrass the girl about the damn rain, and Amanda ain't complaining about that rain. Amanda glad to be married, whether the rain is ugly or not. Amanda not complaining. Why are you so mad about Amanda rain? You mad because Chris won't never marry you? You mad because all Chris giving you is babies? 
Because that's all he ever done for you lately. Give you babies that run out the door, pretending like he mad and all that. And let's not talk about the fact that how many times have you cut off your sister, contact, contact, cut off contact with your sister because Chris, you to, cause Chris told you to do so? Explain. You moved right back to Atlanta. Didn't he much tell your goddamn sister you was in Atlanta? You moved away from the house. You came back to Atlanta. You moved to a whole different location. Many knew the location. Got she, the producers told me the way the hell you stayed at. Uh, man, they didn't even much know. You didn't even much talk to your sister for how long? Cause Chris told you to. I, how you going to get mad at your sister and get mad at Minnie over a damn rain when how many times that you cut your sister off, cut off from your sister, went contact your sister, went talk to your sister, went have nothing to do with your sister because Chris said, I don't want them in my business. Stop talking to your sister for now. Give me a week or a month. Don't talk to your sister for a whole month. And you did it like a fucking idiot. And now you had a nerve to be mad about the rain. And matter of fact, it was an impressive engagement. This was Jordan's idea to pick Minnie. Minnie didn't go begging on her hands and knees crying. Please let me go pick out this rain for you. Pick out this rain for Amanda. Why are you so mad and your sister happy and crying and she can't wait to get married, pick out her wedding dress, pick out everything she need to do for her wedding? Why are you so mad and why are you so goddamn pressed over something your sister happy about? You could at least pick out a better rain for her. You pick out a better rain for me than you did it for my sister. That little small ass rain. Like really, pick a struggling while you really mad. You either mad over the um godmother thing or you bitter over this goddamn rain because you know you ain't going to never get nailed for Chris. And then Chris do ever propose to you. You make sure you push that rain down his damn throat and tell him to choke it because he won. He three babies too late for that. So if he do happen to propose to you, throw that rain down his fucking throat and don't you take it because after three babies and he ain't get you no damn rain, that man ain't going to do nothing but keep on popping babies inside of you and he going to keep on leaving you like he been doing now. He call himself change, but I ain't seen, but I'm seeing it, but I ain't, I, I, I'm denying it, so I want to know why you so bitter, Andrea, and why this so affecting your life or was surprised engagement. Your sister told you she didn't know nothing about this was going on. It was, she was in shock just like you was in shock. This was Jordan's idea to do that whole trip, have um, Minnie come pick up the rain with him, like Minnie said. He picked up the rain. She just leading him in the right direction to say said the one she like and the one she may or may not like. She didn't pick up the rain technically. So you trying to say um Jordan got bad taste and he don't know what his wife like or may not like or won't like it all. Cause many did not pick up that damn rain. She just happened to say, Oh, I like this rain. Oh, I like that one too. Oh, this one cute. And that's all that happened. She picked up the rain. So you trying to say Jordan got bad taste. Cause many did not pick up that damn rain. That damn rain. Like I said. Pick a struggle injury up, and you better stop snapping at people for somebody to snap that baby out your ass. This is what the third time you didn't got in an argument with somebody, pregnant and all, and know you ain't supposed to be stressed out neither. But yet you sitting up here arguing and carrying on about an engagement, up here spraying many about her being a horrible um godmother, and up here talking about um. I'm talking about the rain and what size the rain is and who helped pick out the stuff and who helped surprise her and all this. Like, you're going to have to pick a struggle, my dear, because if you really is this mad with Minnie about, a day, about her being the godmother and her not being there for Arby like she should be as the godmother, you need to take that up with Minnie. Not this engagement, because this engagement is not her fault. You might need to go consult the Jordan about that, because that's his fault for choosing Minnie. Because Minnie didn't ask. He asked her. So you need to pick why you really, really, really mad. I think you're really mad about the whole godmother thing. 
this this engagement thing is the tip of the iceberg, and you talking about some men that was flossing and smiling and smirking at me, giving me screens, look like she was picking and bragging about it because she got to pick out the ring and all this. Yes, many did say she picked out the ring, though, but not really. She didn't really pick out the ring. She helped guide him in the right direction, I guess I could say, or, you know, Said this was cute. She might like this one, but ulti but um the ultimate choice was Jordan. Jordan picked up the ring, not many. So you might need to go consult to somebody or rewatch this show or watch this rewatch re 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 that episode again and find out who you really mad at and who you really need to be cussing out. Cause that damn show ain't many over no damn engagement. And I seen it. It was a wedding. And you wasn't invited. And if it was or was, then what fucking matter does, what damn different does it make anyway? It's cause many times that you didn't left your sister alone, left your sister in the cold. Your sister always there for you no matter what. Always been there, always been there by your side. Even when Chris left you how many times? And you do your sister like this, really? You doing it like this, Andrea. You fake as fuck, too, because I can't believe you really this damn pressed over. Andrea, all I can hope is you better calm your ass down before somebody snatch that baby out your damn mouth, snatch that baby out via your damn mouth, because somebody going to choke that baby out of you. You keep on doing all this now. I ain't saying it's going to happen, though, but you can't go around snapping at people knowing what you knowing what you got a precious cargo attached to you now, because that's fucked up. You sitting up here doing all this hoopering and hollering over a goddamn engagement, spraying men and talking about what kind of godmother she is, and sound like you a little mini gold digger, too, and you was up there talking, talking about some, it, talking about some, she only bought me clothes. She only bought Aubrey clothes. She ain't never went on to see Aubrey. She ain't never took Aubrey out. Aubrey barely know her. It's like, you talking about what you want money, the minute to do, give you money too? Cause sound like you sound like a little mini gold digger too. Unless I'm hearing you wrong, you sound like a little mini gold digger too in there too, Andrea. I don't know where the hell you get gold digger status of. Chris broke it. Mm, I ain't gonna need much talk about him because they ain't show him this episode. Anyways, though, y'all, I'm done written and raving now. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this episode. Y'all let me know why Andrea so goddamn bitter. Because I can't find her. I can't pick the struggle for her. She gonna have to pick that struggle the one she want to pick what she mad at. Because I don't know if I think she know what she mad at herself. She can't say she hormonal because that baby ain't even, Well, she is kind of bitter. So maybe she is hormonal. And maybe she want to fight everybody being hormone, I guess. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the next episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.